Do you have what it takes to become crew for the Elcano World Challenge? That's right, people. I am looking for crew now. We're not going to leave now, obviously. We've still got a boat to build. But come December, we will be leaving for the Elcano World Challenge. Now, that's not to say that if you're available, say, from October, we will still need people because we'll be doing sea trials. So, what am I looking for? Well, you need to be between the ages of 24 and 80. That's right, people, 80. Put in an application. Now, before you put in an application right now, hang out to the end of the video to see the criteria. I want you to follow us very strict criteria. It'll just make things easy for me. At the moment, I am so snowed under with the amount of work. Now, I don't like having the hard and fast rule of limiting people between the ages of 24 and 80. So you can apply if you're under 24, but you must demonstrate in the video that you are an exceptional human being, okay? Now, I don't know what that is, where you're raised by lions, leopards, or your dad was a crazy person living in the middle of nowhere, and you made your first house at the age of 12, I don't know. But you're gonna have to demonstrate that. And um, it's not an easy task, okay? So what I found is when people hit the age of 24, they actually know some things and don't have to be told what to do for everything. You must be a doer. I don't want to have to chase you to get jobs done. You must be fit, athletic and spry. If you don't know what that is, look it up. You must not be a prince or a princess. You must be willing to get your hands dirty. Now, yes, we leave in December, but Around May, June, I'll need people to help me with the boat and the fit out. So if you want to guarantee your spot in the Elcano Challenge, subject to you satisfying all the other criteria, please come and help me in Vietnam. I've got a place in my apartment you can have a bike to. We can go biking together to the factory, of course. I want to see a video of you up to three minutes long, telling me who you are, showing me your personality, your experience. You can be creative and insert other video and make it interesting. Try not to be boring. Save it to your Google Drive and send me the link and don't forget to give me permission to watch and download it. Now in your application, in the email, list all of these things, fill it all out because I want to know more about you. Make it easy for me, follow all of this, don't write prose, please list it. In your video, it's not to be more than three minutes long. If you go a second longer, it's going to be thrown in the bin. So please follow that because I just have so much work to do, I need to try and curtail it. If I do think you're interesting and you've got the experience, I may write back to you and get you to submit another one. So keep it short and succinct so I can go through it. Literally, I get about 200 emails and WhatsApp messages per day, sometimes 300, so I really don't have the time. Anyway. It's a golden opportunity to see the world for free on a magnificent Odyssey 48. What do you reckon? Another day, another spent dollar. Yeah, so today's issue is we've got the um, jacking on 
We've delayed the uh, dagger boards and the dagger board housing, which go here. I was originally thinking they left out this stringer here because that's where the dagger board goes up, but that's not true because the dagger board exits here, so. Uh, I don't know how they're gonna get the dagger board housings in. I mean, we've got a space there that we can bring in but we're making it difficult for them. So that's because we uh, changed the slider design. So um, let's see how we can fit it in. I mean, I'm gonna just give you a bird's eye view of see a gap there, it's still going to be difficult, wouldn't it be? It'd just be so much easier if we could have just dropped it in from above. Like, subscribe, comment! I'm here with Mr. Tong. He's going to come and explain to me how we're going to fit the jagger board housing. Hello. Hello. Um, into where the jagger board housing is supposed to go. How are we going to get it in? There's a gap there. I think there is room here and Mr. Tung is not worried at all about it. We can remove the strongbacks. I have noticed some massive flat sections getting prepared out back, so I'm assuming there's gonna be major development on the decking shell plate. These are all easy and flat and just draped onto the frame from above. This massive sheet is part of the shell plate for the deck. I'm guessing it will fit like a glove, like all the other pieces in this massive jigsaw puzzle.
Look at this massive sheet. And as per usual, it fits perfectly. Guys, you're gonna love CNC cutting. It's down to the nearest millimetre. Bloody amazing. How good's that progress? Now, I know the current video you just watched, that's about a month behind. We are almost at the end of the shell plate and the next stage is going to begin. Now, a lot of people have actually uh, balked at the idea of me having a bucket doubling as a toilet and a kitchen sink. So, the fit out, probably one of the most expensive things to do on a boat. I've got a lot of sponsors now on board, but we still need lots of support from you guys. The Elcano challenge is too big for one person alone. So come on, get involved and become part of history and we can do this together.